Hello everyone, this is CypherDeck, and today I'm playing Malik Dory in Project 1999. And we are back in Soul B at the Royals group, and I am pulling again. And you may see a lot of people that were with us last time. And I wanted to talk about a subject that I brought up a while back. And I want to be delicate with it, because last time I brought it up... There was a lot of um, flack um, because of maybe the way I was talking about it. And in a day or two, if you're watching Hydros Inc.'s uh, channel, you will definitely see the way we were <laughs> reacting. And <clears throat> I don't like to be mean for the sake of being mean. But um, the situations that we had in the group were sometimes on the side of ridiculous. So, here I go. I love enchanters. Um, especially if they keep the three main buffs on me. Um, actually, it only requires two. Only give me two main buffs and I will be perfectly fine. That is the clarity of whatever version that they have and the haste of whatever version they have. That's all I personally need. And while our enchanter definitely did that, <clears throat> the one thing they did not do, especially when we pulled five or six mobs because of the fact that we did have an enchanter in the group, we expected that it would be fine. Um, there was rarely, if ever, any mobs mezzed. And there was a point, um, I believe you may have saw in the last video, where the um, we had pulled several and some were getting on the cleric. And it was uh, the melee that had to take the mobs off the cleric instead of them being mezzed. Also, I noticed that a lot of times when uh, we did see a mez, it was a single target mez instead of an AoE mez. Uh, she charmed uh, a pet. Um, she even charmed a bat, uh, a, a sonic bat that was at seven health. Things like that. And finally, when it broke, of course, it ran because it had no health. So, I'm not complaining about her. And this is why. She's in a guild that raids. And while I'm sure that both the rogues that were with us, who are also in her guild, were talking to her about it, I, I, would, I would think, I would hope, um, I feel that it also comes down to the guild itself for not... Um, Stepping up and saying things about what someone's doing wrong to further them later on. Because what you do now, if you don't change those kind of um, things, will be apparent and can kill people later on that won't put up with it. And especially if it's in her guild on a guild raid, and she's the one who's causing deaths, then they won't put up with it. They may, just because of clarity. She's really good at getting clarity and um, celerity on us, and I think I also had two other buffs that weren't clarity on me, which is amazing. <laughs> um, I, 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 I'm Again, I'm not blaming her. Um, I don't know who she grouped with. I don't know her background as an enchanter. She may have played an enchanter on live. She may have only soloed her levels. So, to be honest, I can't really say anything about her character, about her herself, other than the fact that I've run into more than my fair share of enchanters who um, just don't do what you expect an enchanter to do. And this causes um, most tanks to expect things out of their enchanters that 
they're going to take care of the mobs that are splitting off because of heals. That they're going to mess the mobs as soon as we pull them. Those kind of things. And when those things don't happen, clerics die. Um, we wipe. Things like that. So, um, yeah, it's, it's definitely frustrating. And um, that's all I'm going to say on that. Again, I'm not blaming anybody uh, other than maybe the guild who had two guild members with her and knew exactly what was happening. They had to. They're both epic rogue, uh, epic, epic rogues. That means that they have to know something about their character to even do that quest. Um, they were wearing decent gear. <laughs> I mean, that's the kind of thing that I look at, is that there's got to be someone who's responsible. And either it is the person playing the character, or it is the people around them who aren't bringing it up to fix the issues. And I don't feel it's my place, being a tank, while I say that, I've talked about it this whole video, it's not my place to say directly to her, you need to fix the issues um, that are going on because you're going OM the whole time and you're not casting a single mez, which is the cheapest spell that she has. She's casting charm. She, I may, she may have cast slow. I don't know, but she definitely was not mezzing, and that's really what <laughs> we're um, we're counting on. Um, and so. Anyway, I know you're going to have problems with what I'm saying. I know that um, it's mean to say it. Um, and how direct we were saying it in the group uh, of us in Skype. And um, it's going to be pretty um, pretty rough if you watch Hydros Inc. or AC Gamer's video. And I think we were all exactly the same in our mindset of the quality of the enchanter because we've had enchanters in our group that were much better. We had an enchanter the night before this that was pulling for us. We didn't have to pull. I didn't have to go out and pull. He was lulling everything and then pulling singles every time, constantly. And he was still missing any ads. He was keeping buffs up on us. He was doing exactly everything that he was supposed to do as an enchanter and went far beyond what you would expect of an enchanter. And uh, again, I just want to end it there because I feel that um, I already know that I feel the, the heat from your vision looking at my video and ready to make fingers fly. So I, I, I just got to say that um, I hate to be, I hate to say anything bad, especially when we have such a good community, when maybe she fell through the cracks. I mean, she has the gear, she has the items, she has the guild, and anyway, thank you so much for watching. This is Cypher Deck. Peace out.